bloop, 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 bloop. Hey guys, welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a Redline Custom Volkswagen. Now orange is one of the more desirable colors for collectors, so we're gonna do a regular restoration on this bad boy. Yeah, that's the plan for today, all right? <laughs> this little guy looks to be in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. It's a little chipped up, but the zinc looks pretty good. Doesn't look too corroded. It's a little bit toned and the base is even decent, so it should be a pretty standard repair. So you can tell by the blue glass, this is a Hong Kong Beetle, and the headlights are part of the base. So we're going to get going on this. First things first, we have a little teeny little mushy here we got to drill out. One of the first red lines I ever restored was one of these little custom Volkswagens and it went kind of viral on Facebook and I got a lot of subs from it but there was thousands of comments where people are like why is the engine in the front? That's so stupid. Nobody really got it. You know being a one seater engine in the front can really only mean one thing. She's a race car. Mmm, got a little bit of porridge inside this thing, a little dirty. It's a little dirty, but I think everything will clean up really nice. So the first thing we're going to do is get this paint off. So I'd like to give this a little bit of a polish. But I'm going to use a brass wire wheelie. Just try to clean up some of this toning a little bit if I can. So that looks pretty good. I'm not looking for a mere finish here. I'm looking for a somewhat even finish here. Even these marks you can see that my wire wheelie put in the side of here, that's, you're going to see that in the paint. So even is key. So I'll probably just do this by hand. A little bit of wax on there, but overall nice clean car. I'm going to go give this a super clean with some hot hot water and some soap and we'll come back and we'll shoot some paint. So a lot of times when I shoot Spectra Flame, I put it on too dark and that's just because I want a decent coat of paint on there. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different today to try to battle that. So I mixed up a little cup of my special clear coat and I'm gonna tint my clear coat with the orange and then we're gonna just spray that on the car and I'll be able to get a nice thick coat of paint on there where it's not so fragile. So we're basically making an orange clear coat here and I should be able to put a nice coat on there and then have a nice durable finish. Kind of looks like cough syrup. I'm use a filter today. Now you can see I laid that on heavy. If We would have been to color already if I just mixed up the Spectra Flame paint using the recommended mixtures. I put a heavy coat of my clear on there and this thing looks like it's copper. So by the time we get to color to match the original shade we're going to have a real nice heavy coat on there and it'll be a glossy beautiful little piece of art. So 
So there we go. I was able to do about six coats to get this color instead of the regular two coats and I have a nice glossy thick finish and I feel like it's going to be a lot more durable than if we just shot the regular Spectra Flame how I used to do it. So it's going to be my new way of doing it. Didn't lose any color. I didn't lose any effect. It looks really good. So this base isn't bad. I'm probably going to polish it first here. But one thing I've been noticing is uh, using the acid treatment. Even though I'm neutralizing my lime out after I do the dip, it cleans it up really nice. But what that does is it exposes all this raw base material that has no longer been protected by zinc because the oxidation removed it. You can see this, the back half of the base here is a little bit more shiny than the front. This is starting to oxidize. It's going to just continue to oxidize unless we replenish the zinc and make it nice again. Alright, so we're ready for the lime out now. Alright, let's see how this looks. So our base is looking real good. And we need these little, these little goofy guys on the front. They're the only ones that clear the headlights, so I'm stuck with those. Blip, 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 blip. So I washed our interior. That looks brand new. I washed our glass, and that looks brand new. I'm not even going to dip it because I don't want to mess with our sunroof. It's nice enough. Nice original glass. Our motor's going to need a little touch up on the blower intake, but that's it. So I'm ready to put this together. Here's our body. Looking sweet. Finally figured out the proper way in my mind to shoot Spectra Flame. Some people might argue and say, well, no, the old way works just fine. Not for me it doesn't because the paint's just too thin. You get your color in like a coat, a coat and a half, and that's it. So we're doing it this way for now. Let's stick our engine in our interior. Lights first on our beetle. And then one easy screw and we're done. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is just give this front a little bit of a touch up here. The little blowers on these things always get the paint taken off them. It's no big deal, no big deal. So there you go guys, one easy red line restoration on this little Volkswagen. I like doing the paint like this way better than doing it the other way. I'm going to be doing it like this from now on. You end up with a nice durable finish. Very happy with the results. Make sure you check out the merch. I got some new blub 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 style shirts out there with a little hashtag blubs for Jimmy. Should be a link in the description. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.